Hey everyone, welcome back to Greek Tech New Horizons. I'm currently trying to claim all of the quests that we can claim since there are a lot of them, just so I can really see what have I done, what do I still need to do. And some of these involve a choice that would have been helpful around 50 episodes ago. We don't even have 50 episodes, let's be honest. But currently, it's not too much of a choice anymore. It's literally just getting one kind of garbage or another kind of garbage. Not too sure which one I want. I'm going to go through all of the other quest lines since we have a few, and then we're going to open some bags. We have so many quests that I haven't claimed yet that I actually need to pick up the stuff on the... Okay, there's no stuff on the ground, but hey, my inventory is kind of full now, and it's just going to overfill. So these are Steam Tier 2, B, and Basic. So let's start all the way down here. That's some food. That's actually not that useful, and that is just terrible since it fills up my entire inventory. And just another one with berries. So Tier 2, that's a written book. Let's see if it has a nice message in it. Please, out of my inventory. Nope, just an empty book. Great, let's also go out of here because we get nasty effects. And open that. Another book. Two books, in fact. And a little bit of garbage. More books. Man, I'm really not reading that much, seemingly. Some vacuum tubes. Uh, more aluminium gravel. No, that seems like some glass, maybe, and some sugar. And then we have... Ooh, that's actually useful, that stuff. The red alloy stuff. Uh, a little bit of food, sponges. Some sort of ore in a bucket. And even more books. Yes, success. So what are we doing today? Well, you can see it right in front of you. We're going to get the electric blast furnace working. At least that's my intention. I don't know how well that's going to work out. Seeing as, oh my goodness, it's on fire. Why is it on fire? <laughs> what happened there? Um, yeah, that's a great start. Oh, oh, that is not good. Uh. I'm a, I, I'm going to check that out. Probably destroy the torch and check that out. Don't even worry about it. I totally know what I'm doing. No idea what that fire was, though. Uh, <laughs> connected it back up to the bronze fluid line since I cut that at some point. Probably didn't even realize it. And then the fire came. I panicked, destroyed it, and now it should be working. It doesn't work. Maybe I have to connect it back up. Yeah. A little bit of figuring out right here. Currently also making a few tin, what are they called? Tin wires, so I can connect it up to my blast furnace and hope that it doesn't explode. Let's just pretend for a second that I set this up correctly and nothing is going to explode as soon as I input any items. How do I actually put in any items? I have no idea. It has to do something with these input buzzes and input hashes. Right? Probably. But we actually need something for the stuff we want to make, which is aluminium dust into aluminium ingots, for which we need nitrogen. It's actually not too difficult to get nitrogen. If we look in the centrifuge right here, compressed air cell. We have a lot of air around us right here, and air has a lot of nitrogen. So getting nitrogen shouldn't be too difficult. I just have to figure out how to get air cells which I believe is just going to be a compressor or something with an empty cell. Yeah, makes sense. Going to be able to do that, I hope, if it doesn't require too much power. It takes a while to compress air. Seeing as there's a lot of it, it really shouldn't be this lengthy of a process. You just, like, take a cell, turn around a few times, and then you have air inside that cell. And then you put it in the centrifuge, which are currently occupied. Still occupied. That should be it. I'll get some liquids in there, won't I? How do I deal with these liquids before I get them in there? I might be able to just shove some salts in these spots and then pick the liquid up, transport it over here very easily, and then craft my items. Or maybe not. This isn't working as I thought. Can I put it in here? Put it in here? Please go in there. These spots are blocked. Great. I might need another machine here. Oh no! Oh no, what did I do? I destroyed your chest. I right-clicked it with my wrench. I didn't expect that to happen. Chest, please. There's a lot of expensive items in this chest. Let's just get everything back in there. That's not what was in there. Let's have my inventory, though. 
Great, I just want to find out a way on how to connect this up to the fluid, what is it even, basic canning machine over here, and have that connected to some power. But that proves to be rather difficult if I don't want to run a whole mess of wires. Maybe this could even stay here permanently, it's not looking as terrible as I thought, and it actually fits in with the design, which is great. Let us get what's inside this chest somewhere, probably, hopefully. Yes, a pump and a screwdriver. Attach it to over here. Click it. Connect it up as well. Connect it up as well. Connect it up as well. Why is it not working? Please, wrench. I just chose the steel wrench. I didn't even make it. Can we please get it off? Yes. Where is it? Right here. Okay, let's try that again. Let's attach it. Let's attach it. It has liquids inside of there. Why won't this pipe attach? Oh, I know why. Let's, let's, let's try something. Um, I didn't mean that. What happened there? What did I do? What is happening? I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm I'm creating air. I'm a genius. No, uh, <laughs> genius would know what he's doing. That was really stupid, though. That was... <laughs> you know, I think I've reached a point in the day where I shouldn't continue playing this anymore. <laughs> I'll just throw my monitor against the wall. I have to reconnect the wire that is back there and doesn't automatically attach to the machine. So I somehow have to get back there, reattach a wire that I can't really access or reattach easily, reattach to this wire, which is rather simple, also, I gotta break this wire again and get the output to beneath here because you can't do that when a wire is in front of it. it. It's just terrible. And this won't attach either. It still doesn't attach and I have no idea why. So, yes. Uh, hmm. Quick commercial break. My manager that doesn't exist just told me that I don't even have the requirements to give a commercial break. So, here we are back again. I figured it out though. So, we have some nitrogen in here. We have to actually use the... Oh, quest complete, nice. Uh, and like nitrogen, hide the, okay. Uh, couldn't read that. Beneath the centrifuge, we could have it like the item ducts, just with the auto fluid output. It didn't attach to the front since nothing attaches to the front, or at least it doesn't work. And then I just put it over here. We have a little bit left in there, which isn't too great, but I'm just going to move this thing. I hope we don't need it too much because it's not in a good spot right here. Let's take that. And let's move it to the blast furnace. I moved a few things around so we can place it up here. And we can continually make nitrogen for the blast furnace now. I just have to hook up some power and a few more machines probably. Actually, I'll just shove over the air cells as we need them. I can quickly make them in a compressor. And somewhere there are mobs. And I've been hearing them for a long time. It's a zombie. I don't exactly know where it is, but probably. Actually, what are the odds? Okay, I actually thought, but let's light that up anyway. He's somewhere in here, I don't know quite where. But let's take some aluminum dust, get down here, shove it in the input bus, maybe? Oh, let's maybe not put all of it in. Uh, how about one? Um, sure. What am I doing again? Okay, I hooked up a cable that wasn't hooked up, the bronze fluid pipe right here wasn't hooked up to the basic combustion generator, which I thought would fix it, but nothing is happening. I could still be doing this wrong, but I read a comment that advised me to get some batteries, something or another. Low voltage battery buffers, and I'm guessing I'll need four slots with some lithium batteries. That doesn't seem too complicated. The lithium batteries also shouldn't be an issue anymore now that I know how to make lithium. Crafted the battery buffers as well as eight batteries. So let's try to hook this up. I don't know if I can do it directly, but if I can, I have to do it some way like this probably. And that should be facing the LV energy hatch. Connect that up, put in some batteries, four of them. It isn't even charging, or it's instantly going into here. I don't really know, but it's definitely using up power, so... Now it's charging, perfect. Let's now 
break that and install another one right here and hope that this is going to work as well. Four more batteries, then connecting this back up and going to connect this line in a second. Please work. Maybe it should be working, right? Those are charging and they're definitely facing the output and I might be doing something entirely wrong here. Why can't things just be simple and intuitive for once in Greg Tech? I have these energy buffers, they have small lithium batteries, I have four of them in there, I have cable that is capable of having 4 amperes and a max voltage of 32. It's connected to the LV energy hatch, it's definitely connected, these are charging up, I set the outputs correctly, I put the item I want to process in the import hatch, input bus, whatever. I have an output bus right here where nothing is happening. I supplied it with the nitrogen gas that it needs and now nothing is happening still. It's using energy that I know for sure since the liquid is starting to drain in here partially every few seconds, maybe in a second or so. Okay, nothing's happening. This machine is for whatever reason not accepting an energy. And I've been hitting it with the soft mallet, left clicking, right clicking, smashing, clicking, doing everything, hitting the maintenance hatch, literally everything and nothing is working. But I think we had enough complaining about this already. The machine isn't working still as you would expect from me, but how about we do something that's actually useful and that I'm capable of doing. Crafting things, in particular these electronic circuits. We formerly had a stack of them and I was told it was really stupid of making a stack of them and that I shouldn't have done that since I've wasted a lot of resources and I don't really needed them. Well, guess what? I'm out. I'm entirely out. Can the chest please open? Yep. And now I can't make any more machines because I don't have any. The way I can make them now though is a lot cheaper than before, which is nice because for example the vacuum tubes had this recipe before. And now I can just do this. There's still a glass tube right there, which I'm currently making, and that takes a lot of time. I could probably do it in a fluid solidifier and it would take a little bit less time, but whatever. So we're currently out of copper though, or at least mostly out of copper, which is the reason why I gotta go mining right now. Got uh, some copper and it's currently processing right up here and down there. I think I even stuffed some in the drawers already. But most importantly, I processed some, and I even have it in my inventory right here, as well as the coded circuit board. And we're going to make the last component that we need a stack of for a stack of electronic circuits, since I've been standing in front of these machines for quite a while, even made a plunger. Don't know if you saw that yet, but I made a plunger. So let's take that out. I could have probably made these a little bit more efficiently with liquid crafting, but it's very difficult to do do even that was weird uh cave sound whatever let's click up here and complete the crafting one more stack of electronic circuits there we go so what's the next plan well pretty simple we're going to get a basic pump and some oil going as well i made some cells right here since i don't know how to transport the oil there we go Let's see, do we need anything else right here? We need some mining pipes. And I don't know how to transport the oil or how you would do that. That's the reason why I made so many cells, so I could put it in cells and then transport it back home easily. Let's get some mining pipes, made a stack of them. That should complete the quest now. And I don't think we have any more tanks. And just so I don't have to craft them. Oh, I get both, great. Then let's get all of that. Something else, is your oil too crude? crude? Basic distillery, not going to do that yet. What we need though is a generator and I don't know which one to use since we need to get fuel over there. Probably a combustion generator. I'm not too sure if that works with crude oil though. Quick update on the blast furnace. As you can see, it's green and it's running perfectly, flawlessly. Yes, I'm amazing at Greg Tech. No idea what I've been doing right here. I just stuffed in the steel and the programmed circuit. Does this maybe need a programmed circuit? Because that would explain so many things. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, okay, 
We, we can probably make aluminium. I just figured it out. We need a program circuit because this is working as well and we might have some steel over here already. That is amazing because we have so much steel dust that we got from making steel rods in the lathe since I've been doing that. Where's my lathe? This is my lathe and we even need some more right now. Let's try and set up this oil pump. I believe there are oil spouts that are from GregTech. This one is from Buildcraft and I believe the ones that are from GregTech don't generate for whatever reason. But I was told that the Buildcraft ones would just work as well. So let's place down the basic pump. We're going to need, oh, we might need more than one I just realized. We definitely need more than one pipe. Well, we're going to have the basic combustion generator next to it, right like that, and then hope that it faces into the pump, which I believe it does. Then we're going to have a pipe on top of it connecting to the basic combustion generator, as well as a tank to the side. And then I'm just going to stay here, wait until the tank fills up, then pick up all of the oil in my empty salts right here and move them back home. Look at it go. I put down the second pipe that we needed. We have the tank over here and we connect into the basic combustion generator as well as into the tank. And it's basically a half-half split. Once the basic combustion generator fills up, we're going to start filling up the tank more quickly. And as you can see, we're starting to drain the oil rather quickly as well. Uh, I might have to move that, but we have another spout just right there and I think they are pretty common as well. So. When we need to, I'm going to stay here for a bit, obviously, wait until the tank is full, transport some oil over in the meantime, and then move the pump when necessary. I'm a little bit confused because this just stopped working. It doesn't do anything anymore. It doesn't, or maybe, no, I don't think it's doing anything anymore. Is it stuck? Is it not able to, it should be doing things, right? I hope. I hope it continues to work because currently it's not doing anything really and it's just wasting the oil in the combustion generator. I'm not too sure why it does that. Let's maybe, oh yes, uh, we have enough oil down here I would think at least or are these non-source blocks because that would explain why we are already done with our pumping potentially. I'm going to check that and potentially move my pump then. I can't pick it up. That should be a indication that those aren't source blocks anymore. Okay, maybe they are. And for whatever reason, the mining pipe is just not doing anything anymore. Um, I might have to do something about it, but let's just give it around 10 minutes. And if it doesn't do anything, then I'm going to do something about it. It's working again, had to pick up a little bit of oil around it and then it just started to instantly work again as you can see right here. Uh oh, something happened. The pump just blew up. I don't know what happened, I locked back in. The pump exploded, I got an achievement though. And a little bit of oil, no idea what happened. Let's maybe see if we can find the achievement that would be in Greg Tech. It shouldn't have exploded, right? Uh, the way I set it up. I actually don't remember. It was something like electric, electricity. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Right here, I think. Bad. Whoopsie daisy. It's actually raining. <laughs> uh, I didn't think that was a thing. Oh. I didn't even know that was a thing. So it blew up because it's raining currently. And that is not that great, but we kind of got a lot of oil out of it anyway. So let's bring this stuff home, I guess. Good news though, I got a shot for the thumbnail. So we have a thumbnail, which is great. And it also has the pump and the setup. So I know what I did wrong. I actually had pipes on top of the pump and on top of the generator, but those didn't seem to protect it from the rain. And for whatever reason, I have really low frame rate in here. But this is working now. Let's check out how much steel we actually got. Great. So that's probably going to take a while. 
This is not good news. Our tank is draining, and it's draining rather quickly as well, which is because of the blast furnace running right now that is constantly using up fuel, which we haven't had before with our machines over here. So we're actually running out of creosote, and that rather quickly as well. I have to do something about it. I have oil now, which is amazing, but I don't have that much oil, and to get it is also not very easy. However, if the EBF uses so much energy, we can just take the EBF, move it to somewhere else, so we don't have the pollution over here, take all of our oil, process the oil where the EBF is, and then even maybe have multiple EBFs, since from what I gathered, oil is really powerful, and our steam boiler has been good enough to maintain all of our machinery over here. So I believe that's going to work. We also have a few tanks where we can store the oil in and the processed refined fuel. We have another tank for. We are obviously not going to have it over here, but move to somewhere else. Going to redo this entire area next episode. But this one, we're pretty much out of time. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next one.